In this video, we're going to look at some alternatives to using Noodle tools for note cards and also the components of a good note card. On this first slide, you can see that there is a screenshot of a paper note card to reflect that you could do note cards right on notebook paper or index cards in the traditional written format. You could also use a program like Google Slides to take notes on and organize and shuffle your information using the slide deck to the left. But in creating note cards, it's important that they have certain components that will make your, your information more organized and more effective when you're later creating a product. At the top, we always have a title for our note cards or a topic for the note card. If you're doing a topic in ancient Egypt like Egyptian religion, you wouldn't want to have Egyptian religion on every single note card because you wouldn't know how to group your information into subtopics. So for the title of a topic on Egyptian religion, I might have one note card on mummification, another note card on the gods or on priests. So try to create a subtopic for your note cards that can help you organize your information later. The main part of the note card is the information that you're taking down. You should try to paraphrase or bullet information and put it into your own words as best you can, unless you are using a quote. This is really important to avoid plagiarizing later. Um, the third section is your reflections, questions, or ideas that you have about the information that you recorded. We're going to take a look at an example about different ways that you can use this section to not only use for your product at the end, but also to steer you to other areas of information. And then lastly, it's always good to record the source of where you're getting your information from on your note card. Here, we're going to move forward to look at an example on mummification from the information we looked at in Gale. So as you can see, it says note cards have specific subtopics. So my subtopic for religion in this note card is mummification. Here's some of the information that I found. I'm going to put it in my own words and keep it very concise. The Egyptians used linen to wrap the body. The Egyptians decorated the body with amulets or what were known as good luck charms. And the process of mummification was also called embalming. Some of these questions, however, that I had about this information was, what was their religious reason for doing mummification? And did everyone do mummification? These are things I might try to go to on another area of the project or look up in a different source down the road. I could also think about maybe using some of this information that I noted in my product in different ways. For example, maybe if I'm doing some sort of display, I might try to find linen and have a mummy that is wrapped in linen uh, for my final product to show my, my peers. And then towards the end, you can see that there is the source information. I copied and pasted the source information from Gale right onto the note card. So as you can see, this could have been done on paper or it can be done digitally using something like Google Slides. And then I can organize and group my information on the slide deck to the left as an alternative to using Noodle tools.